Hi everyone, my name is Victoria. I'm the social media contributor to Core and welcome in another episode of Core Academy. Bitcoin has earned its status as perfectly sound gold-like store of value in part through design choices that narrow its focus to permanence and security rather than scalability. This intrinsic protocol level limitations impact Bitcoin's speed, composability and flexibility. But there continues to be serious interest in building traditional DeFi applications on top of Bitcoin. Naturally, this has led to many attempts to improve Bitcoin's ability to support smart contracts, DApps and similar functionality, one of which is Bitcoin Ordinals. That will be our focus for today. We'll discuss Bitcoin ordinals, how they are related to inscriptions, and what all of this means for the broader Bitcoin ecosystem. So let's start. Inscriptions and ordinals. First, we have to get some terms straight. Those the inscriptions and ordinals are sometimes used interchangeably, they are actually different. Inscriptions are exactly what they sound like. Just as you can get an inscription on a piece of jewelry or a plaque, you can inscribe data into the Bitcoin blockchain. This data can be text, image or audio. It's even possible to inscribe entire programs. Bitcoin ordinals, by contrast, are unique identifiers that tie an inscription of digital content directly to individual satoshis, the smallest unit of Bitcoin. To simplify a great deal, an ordinal is an inscription plus a satoshi. Now, let's spend a few minutes talking in a little bit more depth about how ordinals work. To inscribe a satoshi or to track other inscriptions, you have to install Bitcoin Core version 24 or later. And you also have to have a Bitcoin Core wallet on a full node. Then you'll need to download and run the ORD client, which sits on top of Bitcoin Core and allows you to participate in the inscriptions process. If you don't run the ORD client, your wallet will have no way of knowing if a Satoshi has an inscription or not. Creating an inscription involves writing the data you want to inscribe into a part of a Bitcoin transaction known as the witness data. The Satoshi containing the inscription is then added to the mempool and when it makes its way into a block, it's officially considered an ordinal. So what are the potential use cases? Bitcoin ordinals have been likened to Bitcoin native NFTs. While this isn't exactly right, it's nevertheless a pretty good high level description and it gives a flavor of the ways in which ordinals might be used. The most obvious use case for ordinals is the creation of tradable, collectible digital assets. Bear in mind that this doesn't just have to be some knockoff of the Pokemon cards, but could include things like certifications, right to intellectual property, and proofs of ownership ships over real-world assets. Ordinals could also be used uh, for blockchain-based games. Not only could the games themselves theoretically be inscribed as ordinals, but users could also own in-game items that exist as an inscription. As you might imagine, ordinals are also an intriguing way of storing data on the blockchain. The blockchain is sometimes likened to a database, but on its own it only stores data related to transactions. But through inscriptions and ordinals, almost any any kind of extraneous data could be stored on SATs, including scientific information or the details of where a given item was produced. Criticism of ordinals As with many technological developments in the blockchain space, ordinals are not without their critics. One technical criticism is that ordinals will ultimately lead to a greater block size. This was a huge point of contention in the famous block size wars, because it was believed that this would ultimately undermine the decentralization quality of Bitcoin. Another is that it will make Bitcoin less fungible. If inscriptions are tied to individual SATs, after all, that would be surely be a way to track them. We won't be able to resolve all of these issues today, but it's worth pointing out that options are divided among the builders and users of Bitcoin. In conclusion, the emergence of Bitcoin ordinals and inscriptions represent a significant milestone in the ongoing evolution of Bitcoin utility and functionality by enabling digital content to be inscribed directly onto individual satoshis, ordinals open up a myriad of possibilities for enhancing the types of applications and assets that can exist within the Bitcoin ecosystem. Thanks for watching today's episode. Make sure to like our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.